when I was editing this, I realized I forgot to mention that I have 15% off my website at the moment. It's valid until Friday the 15th of October, but in reality, you can it will probably work on Saturday morning. I normally set it to finish the day after I say it will finish, just in case there are any problems. Uh, it gives people a little bit more time. So officially finishes on Friday, but you can probably use it Saturday morning as well, 15th of October. Friday 15th of October. So I get 15% off everything from my website. Um, I have lots of yarn, as you can see behind me. I have lots of Manos de Uruguay, Fino, Allegria, which is the new sock yarn. It's not a new sock yarn, it's new to me sock yarn. That's one of the skeins. Um, and um, Silk Blend and Marina. I have uh, lots and lots of Sabre Ball, Sabre Ball 100, Crazy Sabre Ball, Lace ball, lace ball 100, lace flowers, zabra flower, all the colourful zabra ball yarns. So to get 15% off all that, use the code October23, or one word. I'll put all the details below this video as well. And then you can also get 25% uh, off the Mariposa pattern. So Mariposa is the poncho that I showed at the beginning of the clip from uh, Three Bags Full, the pink uh, and purple poncho. So the pattern is 25% off. I think that's due to finish on the 15th of October as well. Um, but uh, the all the details are on the pattern page. So I will link the pattern page on Ravelry and pay hit below. And the discount details are on there. So I just wanted to make sure I remembered to mention that. Good morning, it is Sunday. Um, I did actually record a quite lengthy introduction yesterday, but it's quite long, so I think I'm going to scrap it and start again today. So um, my plan in my previous um, Vlogtober video, which went up on Saturday morning, I was going to talk about, I said that I was going to try and film some behind the scenes at my, at my workshop, during my workshop at the Knitting Hotel on Friday and three bags full in Liscard, Cornwall yesterday. I'll explain why that didn't quite go to plan. Um, and I actually started recording an introduction yesterday but it was really long so I think I'm going to scrap that. But if you're new here, my name is Anakin. I design knitting patterns, I teach knitting workshops online and in person and I sell yarn to my website yarnalit.co.uk. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. If you want to, you can even click the notification bell and then you'll get notified every time I upload a video. Um, so this is Vlogtober. So this month I'm doing something slightly different. I'm aiming to put out one podcast episode every Thursday where I talk about what's going on on my knitting projects. If you don't like this kind of vlog style videos and you'd rather just have the podcast, you can have that. And then I'm going to try and do two vlog videos a week. So the first one went up on Saturday, um, which was the day before I record this. This will be going up on Tuesday, hopefully. And um, I basically showed you the aftermath of Yarndale, how I am um, packing from Yarndale and getting ready for the three bags full wool market, which was in Liscard yesterday. So let's talk about Friday first. I was supposed to be teaching at the Knitting Hotel in Dawlish in Devon on Friday. Thursday I was only working in my office in the morning and then I had some appointments and things in the afternoon then we were going out for a meal in the evening so I knew once I logged off for lunch I wouldn't be back up here again um, till tomorrow uh, although I'm here today. So I realised when I was about to go down for lunch that I hadn't actually checked my emails all morning so I quickly had a look at my phone and saw an email from the lovely Belinda who owns the Knitting Hotel saying that unfortunately she tested positive for Covid. Um, I think I'm okay sharing this because she did share it on her Knitting Hotel Instagram which is public so I'm assuming it's okay to say that here. She'd just come back from a big trip and you know these things happen, there's a lot of COVID around at the moment, you can catch it any time unfortunately, so um, yeah, uh, so she had to cancel the weekend, so I hope she's okay if she's watching, I hope she's okay if you're watching and you were due to be there this weekend, then I'm sorry, hopefully we will see you another time, um, it's not ideal to have to cancel a retreat the day it starts, so I do feel very sorry for Belinda having to go through all that hassle and I feel sorry for all the people who booked in this weekend who missed that especially because the weather has been absolutely gorgeous and the Knitting Hotel has sea views um lovely beach that you can walk along and it's just 
really love this so um i feel sorry for the people who missed that on this really nice weekend anyway so i ended up with a lot more time on friday than i'd planned um so i caught him on a bit of pattern writing a bit of admin things like that and did my final preparations for the wool market yesterday and then friday e afternoon evening um, we went and set up for the wool market so my husband came with me he loaded the car for me i had everything in the boxes like this and baskets and things that i was going to display them in um so that we could just go in tables were there um and you could just put the tablecloths on and then put everything straight out on the table and then i went in i took us probably like an hour and then i went in early yesterday morning um and tidied everything up and just made sure everything was okay and put out the last few bits and pieces and put up my samples and the prices and things that that was it and i was going to have a look around i didn't really manage to problem was it was quite hot yesterday by the time i finished doing everything i wanted to do i was quite hot i'm going through a phase at the moment i don't know whether it's menopause i don't know whether it's the fact that i've put on a bit of weight in the last year i don't know whether it's changing medication recently that's what i'm suspecting it is but i find that soon as i start doing something moving around i immediately start sweating and if I'm, my hair is down then my hair gets quite wet because i sweat quite a lot on my head my head gets <laughs> really hot um so i usually put my hair up i didn't put my hair up yesterday and my hair got really sweaty and i just felt a bit and i was quite keen to like cool down before the thing started at 11 so instead of having a wander around i just sat and knitted on my stall for a bit just to try and cool myself down because it was quite hot and then i had a quick look around the hall i was in i was in the main hall the biggest hall so i had a quick look around there there were two rooms downstairs a smaller hall and a small room um and i had planned to go around there but i just didn't get around to it then by the time my husband came um about half past four i think they'd actually start some of the people in the downstairs room so i'd actually started packing up um i think that's always a little bit bad form to start packing up because people who've coming some people do come right at the end and some people stay right till the end and there were still people there looking around at five o'clock when we closed so i can understand that last hour at any show is really really quiet and as a stall holder it's really really boring and frustrating to just sit there and like clock watch and there's been loads of shows we've been at where i haven't even had a sale in the last hour and you're just sitting there thinking oh, i want to pack up and go home um but obviously the people who are there had paid to be there so um you should be there and they should be real able to come to your store and buy till the last minute what does annoy me are people who turn up so for example yesterday close to five it didn't happen yesterday but it's happened at other events i've been to where it goes you get to the time where you're closing and then somebody comes and starts either talking to you and totally oblivious to the fact you're closing even though my husband's saying right we need to start packing up now and he'll start packing up or they'll start buying if they're buying i don't mind because happy to have that money but if they're just chatting to me and you're like we have spent two days here because it's only happened at the two day shows i've been to it's many shows i go to finish i think about half past four on the second day you're like we've been here two days we're exhausted we want to pack up and go home um and some people are a little bit oblivious to that so if you do go to shows do keep an eye out for when the closing time is i'm happy with people if they're shopping i'd rather i'm happy to keep my stall open for five minutes longer to so you can spend your money with me that's fine but also there is the, it becomes a bit of a safety thing once stall holders start packing up and moving stuff out um it becomes less safe for the general public i would say you want fewer people in the venue when that happens because things get broken down moved around there's more chance of accidents if there are just general members of the public wandering around as well anyway a bit off topic so i did film a little bit around the hall i was in yesterday i haven't actually looked at the footage yet to see what it's like but i'm going to try and add that here now um today i'm going to tell you a little bit about my knitting plans at the moment well, i'm knitting at the moment and what my plans are for the next couple of days so that's my dog barking can you hear him my husband and my daughter have gone out and now he's barking okay i'm slightly out of breath now from walking back up the stairs carrying a box of yarn so 
um, put him in the kitchen so he can't bark. He jumps up on our chair in the lounge that's in front of the window. We have these like blind things but you can still see through them and he basically sits there and barks at anyone who walks past. So he's in the kitchen now. Anyway, let me show you what I've been knitting. So this is my glamour um, clutch and I decided I wanted a purple one. So I cast them for that this week. I came back on Monday. Probably cast on the Wednesday, I think. I knitted probably about half of this yesterday. So fairly quick knit. Knitted a bit at the event yesterday, and then the rest. I joined in for the new yarn, which is where's my yarn? Oh, that's there. I joined in for that yesterday. Um. At the event I was at. So I knitted less than half yesterday and then I knitted the rest last night. So I'm actually nearly finished. I got at the top you split your knitting in two and then you do a few rows back and forth. Done the first side, I'm just doing the second side now. And then I'm going to steam press that and um, <clears throat> sew the clutch frame in. And then I need to make the lining, but I don't think I'm going to do that this week because um, I haven't got time today. Then I got this one, which I haven't released yet. Um, I decided to do all the tech editing on the Glamour Clutch first because some of the changes to that will affect how I write this pattern and make this pattern easier to write and cheaper to tech edit. So I knitted this. When I knitted it, I ran out of the pink yarn, which is why I'm using the yellow yarn at the top here. But I don't know if I had like a full ball of the pink yarn or whether I only had a partial ball. I've decided I'm going to knit this again. I might do it in, I need to check what yarns I've got left. I'll probably do it in pink and, no, purple and grey maybe. Um, because I like this dark purple. I am considering maybe I should do it in Lang Merino 200, no, Lang Merino 120, which is um, DK. But um, I quite like the colours in the uh, Yachty Gun Marina cotton. They're quite bright and vibrant. Um, I need to check what colours i got left. But I think probably the purple and a grey. Because I think I've got a, one purple left. And I've got definitely got grey left. So I might do that. I'm also thinking about adding beads. Um, so I need to check what beads I've got. So I might do the purple where it's pink. And then do the yellow bit in grey. Light grey. So, I might cast that on this week or not. I haven't got like a big project on the go at the moment. I have a couple of things I need to do for a workshop later this year. So, a few years ago, I released a pair of hand warmers called Starlight. And um, I have no idea where they've gone. <laughs> I've lost them. But I'm teaching a workshop later this autumn at the Knitting Hotel. And it is either my Selbu, which is stranded colourwork mittens or hand warmers, or beaded lace hand warmers. So I got this pattern and I've got a pattern called Passion Flower, uh, which also I don't have the sample for. So I'm going to try and knit this up. I'm actually going to change the needle size and knit this up in a different yarn. So I picked out, because I'm stocking a new yarn called Allegria. Well, it's not a new yarn, but it's new to me. Allegria by Monos of Uruguay. And this one, the label actually fell off and I don't know where it's gone. So, and because I quite like this colour, it's quite a nice pink, I thought I might knit a pair of these hand warmers in that. Uh, and I'm also going to change the needle size as well because um, it will put them in line with the other hand warmers I have for that workshop. So I need to cast on that this week. I think the workshop is in November, but that pattern will need to be tech edited again because I am changing the needle size. Then I got this colour, which is all that also Allegria, and also the label fell off. I've got the label for this one, so I could just attach it again. But I quite like this colourway, so I thought maybe that would be my next pair of socks after the ones I'm currently knitting. And then I thought maybe I will use these for the other pair of hand warmers. But I need to see how it knits up. It may be too variegated. So I need to wind these two at some point. Once I've cleared all the yarn off my table, I might take my ball winder and swift downstairs and have to do it properly because that's much quicker normally I don't bother doing that if it's just one skein I just do it by hand but I might be good and take all my equipment downstairs today and then I need to cast on for my second pair of um, socks this is the Allegria Carnival colorway um, I shared this in the last podcast so I need to 
cast on for the second song because I don't think I've cast on for it yet. Thought about doing it for Strictly Come Dancing last night, which is our version of Dancing with the Stars. It's the original version of it's where Dancing from the Stars comes from. Um Strictly Come Dancing, I believe, was the original. But I decided this was fairly easy, so I just knitted on that instead. So that's my plans knitting wise for this week. I also need to think about the next big project. I have a deadline coming up. I need to check exactly when it is. If I have enough time, I might ask one of my sample knitters to do it. If the time is a little bit, the deadline is sooner than I think it is. I may have to do that myself. But I'm hoping to ask one of my sample knitters to do it. But I need to sort that out tomorrow. Then I've got a couple of sweaters I'd like to cast on for. So I need to decide whether I'm going to do that. I also got my advent calendar from um, Orchid in Luxury Yarns, which I have decided, I think, what I'm going to do with it. Um, and I really like to finish knitting up that sample before this year's advent calendar comes. I really wanted to knit it and have the pattern release in time for this year's advent calendar, but I don't think that's going to happen. But I may think about casting up for that this week, uh, towards the end of the week, maybe next weekend. Teaching on Tuesday, two half day workshops. I think they're both going ahead. And Thursday, I'm teaching another two half day workshops. The second one, I'm not sure about. So the second one is slip stitch or mosaic color work. Um, I haven't got my samples here because they were in. No, I haven't got my samples here because they were. I took them with me yesterday. In case anyone asked me what it was, but it's a way of knitting color work where you only use one color per row, and it gives you a really interesting technique and it's really good fun. So if you fancy doing that, um, and you can be in Liscard on Thursday. What date is it? 12th maybe of October, then I will put the link below. Um, and then I'm teaching brioche, two color brioche Thursday morning. I think there's still some places on that. So if you're new to brioche and you fancy learning to learn brioche, Thursday the 12th in the morning. And then following week, on Tuesday, I'll put this all below because I can't remember the dates. On the Tuesday, I'm teaching a full day brioche cows workshop. So if you've done basic two color brioche, you have to be able to do basic two color brioche. You don't need to be an expert. You don't need to be able to do all the increases and decreases and all that kind of stuff. But if you can do basic two color brioche, then you can do that workshop. So you will learn how to knit brioche in the round. And then you can choose between three different cows in three different difficulty levels. Um, depending on your skill level and how um, adventurous you are, should we say. So that should be a really good workshop. So I need, I've prepped for the Tuesday morning one already and everything's ready for that. And I've got my, I think I've got everything ready for the Tuesday afternoon one. I just need to pull out the patterns. Um, I didn't want to print them all out again because I thought I'd have some left over from yesterday. So I just need to go through yesterday's pattern and pull out the ones that I need for my workshops. And then see if I need to print any more. So I'm basically more, more or less ready for Tuesday's workshops. And then I need to probably start prepping for Thursday's workshops tomorrow. I'm always a bit worried about printing out stuff the day before my workshop in case my printer fails because I've had that before. Printers are very temperamental. I hate printers. And suddenly they just won't work. And if you've got a workshop, that's very, very stressful. Anyway. I'm going to go and record a video now since I'm here before I start bringing any more yarn up and before the sun moves around anymore because I'm, I'm going to have problems with the light. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you very much for watching i really appreciate it um if you have any questions please ask below this video and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing the next video on my channel will be my podcast episode which will be on thursday this week at 3 p.m uk time and if you want to know what i started knitting yesterday afternoon and evening you have to watch a podcast i cast on something new last night and i made quite a lot of progress um so i'm going to share that in the podcast which i'm actually recording this afternoon but it won't be out on thursday the next vlogtober video will be out on saturday and that will show what i get up to this week hopefully there will be some um footage from my workshops i'm teaching two half day workshops tomorrow on one on thursday so hopefully there will be some footage from that that i can share as well thank you for watching and i'll see you next time